Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to stick a picture inside text right after this. Okay, so right here we have um, a nice scenery picture and this text. And um, I'm going to go go ahead and show you how to do that um, I have this picture and actually before I start I want you to uh, look in the description and you can download um, download the file uh, so you can work along so um, you can go ahead and do that um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this so I can show you how to do this so I'm going to grab this picture and bring it outside of the layer, Keras. Get rid of Keras. And um, there we go. Okay, so now we have this background. Um, you can just put any background you want. I just stuck this uh, background because I thought it was cool. So this is a picture I took in Washington State um, from on Mount Rainier. So, so I decided to use this picture because it's a pretty nice picture. Um, so. So what you're going to need to do first is type out your text. It's just going to be a really quick tutorial. And um, if you haven't watched my artistic text tool tutorial yet, just click up on this card right up here. But now we're going to go ahead and use this text. So just click and drag. And I'm just going to write, I'm not Keras, I'm going to write, I'm going to write Affinity, all caps. Grab it with the um, select tool, resize it, bring it down to the middle. So then, after you have your text, you're going to want to hit Command Return. Um, it takes the layer and it converts it to curves. So that's the um, shortcut key. So Command Return. And then it sticks the um, text into a group um, with each of them as an object. So we're going to go ahead and add all these layers to make them one object so that we're not dealing with a bunch of extra layers that we don't need. So click this little add button up here with the operations. If you haven't watched my operations video you need to watch that. Click on the white card up here and I'll link it in the description also. Okay so then after you're done with that pull it out and bring it to the top layer and get rid of this group because it's nothing in the group yet uh, anymore. And then you are going to uh, you can create some lines up here if you want, um, like I did with Keras. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly. And it doesn't really matter what they are right now. I'm just going to copy paste this one, pull it down here. And then to make sure they're equally spaced, select all of this, make sure they're equally spaced this way, and make sure they're um, aligned perfectly, and they're, they're already aligned. So that works. Okay, so that, that actually looks sort of cool, but I'm actually going to get rid of that and make this all one object. So I'm going to add all these again. And um, so now they're all black. So then all you have to do is take the photo, which I opened by using the place image tool. And you can do that easily. I have a tutorial about that. You can click on the white card up here if you want to watch that. So I got this image, and that's about good. Um, you can't, since affinity isn't very, you know, thick. Um, it doesn't take up very much of the f photo, so you just need to sort of mess around with your text. Make sure you can sort of see the photo uh, within your text. So what you're going to need to do to make it inside the text is uh, sort of make it a mask. Uh, make the fo photo masked to the text is drag it inside this layer to where the little green thing goes inside, and then it'll pop up, and you're done. And then from here, you can adjust the photo. Um, 
by, uh, you know, I don't know, however you want. And uh, you can also, like, squish it if you need to, which probably makes it look worse. But if, if it's in the text, you probably can't, like, really notice that much. So I'll just squish mine a lot. And that makes it look pretty good. So um, now you have a nice um, little thing. And then you can add a backdrop if you need to. And um, what I did last time is I actually stuck um, a uh, inner shadow in this. So you can actually stick an inner shadow in it or um, to, to where it makes it more contrast on the outside. So that actually looks better, I think. You can make the photo brighter with um, with adjustments, brightness and contrast. Make it brighter so you can see a little bit better. And um, so that's basically all I've got here. So um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I hope you learned from it. And if you did, please give me a like. Um, if you um, and also if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I come out with any designer tutorials and have over 30 tutorials already and I also uh, please also leave a comment in the area below so that I know what you guys are thinking um, so much fun to get uh, comments from you guys it's quite inspiring so uh, have a good day and I'll see you next time